I'm thinking about balance this morning. So several years ago, I started falling down. I was just falling down. I, every time I'd stand up, I'd fall down. I got out of the car, I'd fall down. I kept slipping and falling. And it started getting progressively worse. So I went to the doctor and they said that it was called benign positional vertigo, BPV. And that the snow globe crystals in my ears that we all have had gotten shaken up. And I needed to do exercises, focused, calm, slow head moving exercises to get the snow globe crystals in my ears to calm back down so that I could not be dizzy and I could stand up and I could not fall down. So I learned a lot about stopping, about breathing, about tilting my head a certain way so that I could not feel like I was on a roller coaster while I was laying down in bed. And I learned a lot about balance. What I haven't learned, <laughs> so I'm still learning, is how to balance the moments in life when I feel like I'm emotionally falling down or spiritually falling down or I feel like others need me to be more stable because they're spiritually or emotionally falling down when things are out of balance. And that's what's happening right now. Every day there seems to be a new crisis, a new disaster, a new catastrophe, a new horrific experience, something, something happening that we have to find a way to balance. I have friends who simply don't deal with the world. They just find a way to enjoy their small piece of the world and they're able to keep out the news and the stories and the happenings. And I have friends who are deeply immersed in everything that happens, every moment, every crisis, every piece of news. And I think both of those directions are extreme, of course, to the one side or the other. For some people it works. You know, I think that's the, the other key to balance is it isn't always about finding the middle ground that works for everybody. It's finding the middle ground that works for us, for you, for me, for each individual person. And to then not judge our or another person's way of balancing. So balance is like this multi-layered onion thing that you think you understand balance and then you pull away another layer and say, oh, and yet there's that. Finding my own balance, not judging the way others balance, not judging the way I balance. Finding a way to make our way. So as it's been recently, I have no answers today. I have, I have only the revelation of, let's look at this. Let's each for ourselves find ways to get those snow globe crystals to settle down, to help us not fall down every time something happens or to not pretend that things aren't happening that are. to find a way to still see joy, to find a way to still see love, to find a way to still see the helpers, still see the good, still know that there is something in everything that is there to teach us, and then allow ourselves to be taught allow ourselves to learn and to grow. 
My heart aches for the parents and friends and teachers and families of those in Florida today. And it also aches for the families, teachers and friends of the people from Sandy Hook and Florida, from Pulse, from San Bernardino, South Carolina, and Colorado. Because every time another one of these incidents happens, their lives get thrown out of balance yet again. They might have actually found a place to stand on solid ground and then that ground shakes again. It's the nature of our lives, right? So for today, I'm working on finding a way to balance a way to stand on some solid ground. I wish you all love. I wish you all peace. I wish you all kindness. And, uh, <laughs> and I wish you all moments like I have with Maddie that bring me back to joy. Peace.